Yannick Sinner versus Roman Sefulin is the first quarter final for the men's Wimbledon for 2023. And both guys have been very impressive to get to this stage. Sefulin entered the tournament unseeded and would take on Batista Agu, the 20th seed in the first round. And after going down two sets of one, would fight back to win 2 6 7 6 6 7 6 4 7 5. In the second round, he'd take on Mute. And this was a little bit easier than his first round, getting through in straights 7 5 6 3 7 6. In the third round, he'd take on Pella, former quarter finalist at Wimbledon, who'd taken out Chorich along the way. And this is the best performance so far. Getting through in straights, 7 6 6 4 6 love. In the fourth round, he'd take on the number 26 seed Shapovalov, who made a semi final at Wimbledon two years ago. And after dropping the first set, he would fight back to win 3 6 6 3 6 1 6 3 to advance to his first Grand Slam quarter final. Sinner entered the tournament as the number eight seed and would take on Sarundalo in the first round. But this was no problem getting through in straights, 6 2 6 2 6 2. In the second round, he'd take on Schwartzman, and again, this was no problem getting through in straights, 7 5 6 1 6 2. Third round, he'd take on Alice, who'd been very impressed by beating Evans along the way. And after dropping the first set of the week, Sinner would fight back to win in four, three, six, six, two, six, three, six, four. In the fourth round, he'd take on the unseated Gallon, who had just come off a five-setter in the previous round. And with Sinner under pressure more than he had been all week, he would fight back to win a tough three-setter, seven, six, six, four, six, three, to advance to another Wimbledon quarterfinal. These guys have actually played the one time before. That was at the ATB Cup last year when Sefulin came in to Team Russia to help out Medvedev after guys like Rublev and Karatsev had pulled out and he actually pushed Sinner in the first set but Sinner ended up getting through in straights so I wouldn't write off Sefulin to perform on a big stage against a big player if Sefulin's going to win this one he needs to make sure he can keep that belief he has played Sinner before which kind of helped on a big stage so the nerves will be there we all know that playing a Wimbledon quarterfinal the first time you've been on that stage it's going to be difficult, but he has played Sinner before, so that will give him some comfort into this one. He needs to be aggressive as well and push Sinner around. If Sinner's going to win this one. He just needs to play his game. Sometimes, as we saw at the French Open, with the easy draw, he can get in his own head. So he just has to believe that if he plays his own game, he'll get to the semifinals here. There's a massive opportunity for him to make his first semi. This is such an interesting matchup because we knew Sinner was going to be here, or at least we expected him to be here. We had no idea who was going to get out the root section of the draw, and of course, it is a random player, but I've got to go Yannick Sinner in four sets. I think Sefulin might surprise a little bit at the start, but I think Sinner will compose himself and end up winning an overpowering Sefulin on the grass. But let me know down in the comments below who's going to make it to the semifinals.